focusing on the embodied carbon is critical to achieving all of our climate goals. I'm wondering who you think is one of the most relevant people that we should, not necessarily a hero, but that we should be tuning into, listening to Twitter, wherever there are pa- podcasts, whatever. Oh, what should we be tuning into other than you? Because <laughs> clearly you're one. <laughs> oh, there's, there's, a, there's a guy named um, Will Srubar, who's at, I want to say Colorado State. And Will, if I'm wrong, I apologize. But he's, he's one of those people that's just doing those things around material science uh, and, and health. And I just, I'm just blown away by him and his, and his colleagues and peers. There's, um, there's people like Annie Bevan, who uh, I, I met her when she was at Sustainability Person at Superior Essex, which is a cable company, but they had the first regulus free cable and we uh, used it on Living Building Challenge projects. And, but that wasn't enough for Annie. Um, and so now she just got made executive director of Mindful Materials. And so I'm really excited to see Mindful Materials take off it's one of my favorite tools um that's been like like percolating for 10 years almost yeah yeah and now it can go that's cool like so now it can ex- explode um i'm uh I, i'm uh, in like everybody else in the pacific northwest we're all in love with stacy smedley who was at skanska great and and at skanska she for for the client microsoft skanska developed an embodied carbon calculator and the way that I know the story, and Stacy, of course, probably will have a more humble version of this, but the way I get the story is Stacy said to Microsoft, hey, this is a cool calculator that we built for you. Do you mind if we share it with the world <laughs> and make it open source? And they're like, yeah, we don't care. We're Microsoft, right? And so she did, and that became the, um, uh, that became the Embodied Carbon Construction Calculator, EC3. And I might know the answer to this, but what's the biggest initiative right now? That we can make very high performance, low EUI buildings that perform at a, a, a reasonable amount of energy that we can then offset with solar. What we're not so good at yet is what about all the upfront energy that went into making that, the embodied carbon? And that's, right. that's where these tools like um, EC3 that I mentioned or Tally really come in, into play because we didn't even have them five years ago. Mm-hmm. And now we're able to get a level, to a level of detail and understanding that informs the design process and our decision making. And so the embodied carbon is half the carbon story of the building, and we've largely ignored it. Just because of urgency, I have to say that's where our focus lies, right? Get into the embodied carbon of your building. And you don't have to be perfect. Just start. Just start. Tracking it, measuring it. Just start. Yeah. And just have the conversation. We really appreciate your time, yes, Eric. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure.